en couture. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience est Aujourd'hui, la Chambre continue d'entendre la déposition de M. Heder. M. Sarkovati est now directed to report to the Chamber the current status of the parties to the proceedings today. Le greffe. Mr. Sarkovati, good morning, Mr. President and your honors. All the parties Bonjour. to the proceedings are present. Monsieur le Président, Mr. Nunchi is present in his holding présentes. cell. Nunchi downstairs, as ruled by the chamber. Due to his health concerns, uh, and uh, today the chamber is hearing the testimony of Mr. Steve Heather, who is right in the courtroom. We do not Heather have a reserve witness for today. The president, thank you, Mr. Sarkovati. We would like to now Madame hand over to the prosecution to continue putting questions to Mr. Heather. You may may now proceed. Uh, please hold on, the counsel Kopeik. Uh, you on your feet. Maître you may now proceed. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Maître Coupé, merci, Monsieur good morning, le Président. Your honors, good morning, Bonjour, Council. Good morning, Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges, chers confrères. Bonjour um, à toutes les personnes ici présentes. Mr. President, I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize to uh, Je présente my mes excuses from the à l'accusation, car je dois devancer celle-ci pour présenter une demande urgente fondée sur ce que nous considérons comme des informations nouvelles et extraordinaires reçues à l'extrême fin de l'audience d'hier. Ces informations, selon nous, ont de vastes répercussions pour ce procès et sont également directement liées à la déposition de M. Heder. J'aurai besoin de seulement 10 minutes pour faire mes observations. Nous pensons que c'est très important. Je vous prie de nous autoriser à faire ces observations courtes. Mr. President, I'm sorry to interrupt, but can I say that Désolé I've had absolutely no advance notice of this? The courtesies at the bar are that advance notice should be given of such applications, even if in outline. Il convient de donner notification préalable, ne fût-ce que pour une, donner une idée générale de l'objet d'une telle requête. Le président, la parole est à la juge Sylvia Cartwright. La juge Cartwright. Oui, la juge Cartwright. La chambre souhaite s'enquérir de certaines choses, Maître Copé. Is this a matter that concerns this witness? Cette question uh, concerne le présent témoin. Faudrait-il en traiter en son absence? Uh, and uh, that it might have helped had you told the prosecutors because you've known since last si evening. Si vous aviez annoncé so cela à l'accusation, ça aurait été utile car vous le savez depuis hier. Ainsi, nous aurions eu des informations nous permettant de so prendre les dispositions nécessaires. Peut-être pourriez-vous vous exprimer à ce sujet? Maître Copé, I understand your questions, uh, Judge Cartwright. Vos questions, um, Madame la juge Cartwright. It was up until the last moment that we uh, were discussing within our team uh, what to do with moment, this new uh, information that has come to light. Um, I feel it might be better to, do, to present uh, our uh, submissions in the absence de faire nos observations of uh, this particular witness, although. On the other hand, this witness Même is not si, part, somebody témoin, um, who we think would change his testimony after he has heard what I am about, uh, hopefully, to unfold. 
Um, je pense if, um, à la suite uh, well, this is de very ce que j'aurais à dire. Either we close the courtroom soit and dispose of this matter quickly or you continue, continue to do it publicly, which is better. Publiquement. And because neither the chamber nor the prosecutors have any idea what it is you want to uh, talk about now, we, we have to be guided parler. by you and I'd like it done quickly, please. De voir et que vous le then, of course, I prefer to do it in open court. We are in Alors, open court. We are in public trial. Publiquement, and requests, I think, uh, should, be make, should be made in an open Nous trial at, at une telle public court. Um, just as um, public. must be done, but also must be seen to be done, uh, as ça you doit know. Être fait, mais aussi so I feel doit we should être make vu. this um, application, this submission Nous in an open court. Donc devoir Presenter ses observations et Judge Cartwright, can I please be heard on this? Madame la juge um, this is not, in my respectful submission, something that should be dealt with in open court. Il ne faut pas if these are issues pertaining to this witness, public, he does si not need to be here whilst they're done. Témoin, Correct and proper procedure is the witness should retire, and I strongly urge the court to allow the witness to retire whilst this legal argument takes place. If it's to do with him, he does not need to be here. If it is a legal argument, then he can proceed with lawyers making submissions. In my respectful submission, Mr. Header does not need to be here. Les avocats I may quickly remind Mr. President, it has nothing to do with the person of this witness. It has something to do about the topics of, um, this, the topics of the person of this testimony. The possible testimony. C'est lié à l'objet éventuel de sa déposition. The President, Le President, after noting the application lodged by counsel for Mr. Nunchi regarding the topic de before us today, the Chamber notes that uh, such a hearing shall be conducted in closed session. La Chambre considère qu'il convient d'examiner la question à huis clos. Mr. Steve Heather is now Monsieur Steve directed Heather to be uh, taken to his waiting room and that he would be returned to the courtroom after the session to rule upon the application by counsel from Mr. Nunchi is properly addressed. Sera examiné la défense, and the chamber would la like uh, de la de to order that the AV booth rather the court officer is not directed to ensure that there is no d'audience veuillez faire le nécessaire the president the court officer is not directed to ensure that the curtain is uh, drawn closed que les and that no sound should be uh, connected to the public gallery 
The public is now informed that after this closed session, the normal court proceedings and video feeding and audio visual link will be reconnected to the general public. And uh, the chamber has to rule upon this immediately because uh, the chamber has not been informed in advance regarding the application councils for Mr. Nunchier. Uh, who de would like to address it. Mr. Steelhead, uh, you may now please uh, leave uh, the courtroom uh, temporarily and uh, Judge uh, Silver Cartwright, if you would like to la juge have the floor, you may now proceed. Je vous en prie. No, no. Vous avez la parole. Court officer is again directed si to make sure that the parole. courtroom is, uh, the curtain of the courtroom is now drawn close. Yes, I, I simply wish to add that um, as soon as it becomes clear that this hearing can continue in public, that will occur. And secondly, that the public will be informed of what has transpired as soon as we have the information that should have been given to us in advance. Thank you. De ce qui s'est produit dès que nous aurons reçu les informations qui auraient dû nous être communiquées à l'avance. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Judge Cartwright. Maître Copé. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, Madame the la Juge Cartwright. Uh, the President. Le président. Uh, Mr. Copé, could you please hold on? We uh, may need to Maître address Copé. Uh, the technical difficulty because we make il y a sure that there is no problem um, audio visual link to il the public gallery before we can proceed properly. Que les The President, the Chamber wishes to le inform President. parties to the proceeding that uh, due to technical uh, glitch, Suite. it would be difficult uh, for the interpreters to see us. And uh, for les interprètes that, ne pourront pas we may uh, need to reopen the curtain of the courtroom so that the interpreters could see the actual proceedings and that will pour que les interprètes help them puissent voir ce qui se passe dans le traitoire, ce qui les aidera dans leur tâche. After the public uh, and the people in the public gallery are uh, brought out of the uh, place, then the curtain will be uh, reopened. Mr. Nous President, there seems to be one additional technical issue, and Copé, that is un autre because technique. the AV system is cut off, also uh, there's no sound and image going to the holding cell, so um, Nunchia doesn't know what we are about to uh, submit, because simply we didn't have time to speak to him about it. Uh, but of course it's important, it's important that he hears it. Mais bien sûr, il est important qu'il nous entende. The President, Le President. Uh, we have dealt uh, with this, uh, uh, we problème. just disconnect uh, the sound and picture to the public gallery Nous and we believe that uh, the audio visual link to Mr. Nuntia should not public. or shall not Par be contre, disconnected, avec uh, that's la what we believe and if there is any interruption to this, then the court officer is now directed to ensure it is uh, properly checked et prier de faire le nécessaire pour connecter la cellule temporaire au prétoire.
The President, uh, Council Copé, you may now proceed. Maître Copé, je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Mr. President, the information we, we received Les yesterday que nous avons reçu was in the form hier of an email from Rob Lemkin. As the chairman knows, Lemkin, comme le Mr. Lemkin co-wrote the screenplay co uh, for Enemies of the People and the related film, of the people, One Day at Portray. Du film apparenté, une journée this email was delivered Portray. to my colleague, uh, Michiel Pestman, who transmitted Ce courriel it a été communiqué à mon confrère, Maître Pestman, lequel l'a envoyé hier soir uh, email was, uh, après 18h à nos consultants. Après quoi, we have just, ce courriel right m'a été communiqué. Il n'avait pas été the sollicité. And all of the parties. Nous venons de recevoir le courriel à la Chambre et au parti. Voici l'intégralité de cet email. Victor, Je cite, « Cher Victor, from reading the Plompens post account of the trial proceedings yesterday, du récit fait par it seems le post there may have been a misunderstanding about what Nguyen said in our semblerait qu'il y ait une did not incompréhension emphasize, de not ce qu'a dit Nguyen a dit dans notre DVD. Il n'a pas what he said was that half a dozen law nol cabinet and top officials had been put through revolutionary due process and condemned to death by a military tribunal, which from memory Nochia was not part of. It should be added that Radio Plompen, the official state radio station, broadcast announcement of these executions, executions at the time and gave the same de rationale as Nuenchia does avait in our DVD. Ces exécutions et Nuenchia does not admit direct responsibility DVD. for executing the Lono cabinet Nuenchia members. Pas Rather, he asserts that the rationale was correct. Des membres du gouvernement de Lonol. Of course, il dit that rationale is no different from U.S. killing Bin Laden, etc. Bien entendu, cette justification ne diffère pas de celle invoquée pour l'exécution de Bin Laden par les Américains, etc. Clear that there really is a que les preuves présentées au tribunal montrent clairement to have been used of our film in this instance. Now the été important part, Mr. President, comes, and I quote, <coughs> present peu by the way, de valeur regarding portrait, this was a massacre ordered by not central command. We have amassed a wealth of evidence about NIM's agenda, but have so been far unable to complete our second film Nous n'avons pas pu achever notre deuxième film parce que Ted Samba est aux États-Unis pour raisons personnelles. Meilleure salutation, Rob Lemke. Monsieur le Président, Your Honours, this information is obviously extremely important. But let me explain exactly why and how it relates exactement pourquoi et en quoi ceci est lié à la déposition de Monsieur Eder. First. Premièrement, Mr. Lemkin Monsieur Lemkin may be in possession of information des informations that is directly exculpatory directement à décharge pour Nunchia pour ce qui est des trade. allégations relatives à Nunchia. Si si effectivement Mr. Lemkin, Monsieur Lemkin possède ce type d'informations et que celle-ci montre ce que uh, Monsieur Lemkin affirme, exactly ceci viendrait précisément justifier la position que nous avons depuis plusieurs mois, y compris telle que nous l'avons exprimée il y a à peine deux jours. Ross Nim, Cela met en cause Ross Nim, Second, dont nous avons abordé devant la Chambre Mr. la responsabilité Lemkin pour les événements de tout le Poitrail. Deuxièmement, les preuves the position we have taken countless times for years about command structures in democratic country and the role of zone leaders. Now that information, Mr. President, relates directly to Mr. Heller, whose analysis has previously been central to our claims in that specific regard. And it appears that the list of Mr. Heather's interviews provided by the prosecution yesterday pour former notre position à ce sujet. Apparemment, la liste des interviews 
recueilli par M. Heather, qui communique hier par l'accusation, comporte de nombreux entretiens avec des cadres de la zone nord-ouest. Il est donc probable que M. Heather soit à même de témoigner concernant les faits cités par M. Lemkin. Troisièmement, M. Lemkin possède peut-être des informations directement à des charges pour Nuncia concernant l'exécution alléguée de fonctionnaires de haut rang de l'Ordre. Exécution dont l'accusation affirme qu'elle fait partie du procès. Plus important, peut-être que M. Lemkin pourra expliquer que le film qu'il a lui-même produit et sur lequel l'accusation s'appuie pour invoquer des éléments à In relation to its charge probative value. est en fait une pièce à décharge. Sa déposition pourrait étayer la position adoptée par la défense de Que Sentant concernant Now, la responsabilité du film honest, et par nous-mêmes concernant sa valeur probante, à savoir qu'il s'agit d'un traitement partiel et sélectif de milliers d'heures de bandes. Dans ce contexte, trois demandes. Premièrement, nous demandons à la Chambre d'admettre ce courriel en tant qu'élément de preuve d'application de la règle 84. Auparavant, ce courriel n'était pas disponible et il est manifestement pertinent. Il présente également une forme similaire au livre de Ted Sambat sur lequel l'accusation s'est abondamment appuyée. Deuxièmement, nous demandons à la Chambre de citer à comparaître M. Lemkin and or undertake further investigation pursuant to Et Rule 93. And third, we seek an immediate adjournment of Mr. Heather's testimony pending the outcome of that investigation. De la déposition de Monsieur adjournment is necessary so that we have as full a record as possible. Une suspension est nécessaire pour que nous ayons autant d'informations que possible avant de pouvoir interroger M. Eder au sujet de cette question qui est d'une importance capitale pour ce procès. Le président, le président, le président, monsieur le procureur, veuillez vous rasseoir un instant. La Chambre a déjà pris en note des demandes de Mr. Copé, avocat international de Nunchia. Request for the chamber to admit this new piece of evidence and a new witness, based on the email counsel had obtained very recently. Sur la base d'un courriel que la défense a obtenu tout récemment. And since this part of the proceeding will not warrant a more close session. Then we would like this matter to be addressed in a public session instead. And Mr. Copé, when the session is now back in public, we would like you to revisit it in the public session. And Mr. Copé, when the session is now back in public, we would like you to revisit it in the public session. And Mr. Copé, when the session is now back in public, Lorsque nous repasserons à une audience publique, nous vous prions de répéter ce que vous avez dit à l'intention du public. 
our proceedings and the AV booth officers are now directed to Service ensure technique. that the audio visual link and the are now reconnected to the public la liaison um, audio gallery and to the public avec la security du personnel public. are now directed to bring in all the observers, uh, the people who would like to attend uh, these de sécurité, uh, proceedings in the public faire rentrer le public Mr. President, just a gallery. quick question. Um, are you saying that Notre I copé. should use not Mr. Lemkin's name um, and use a number, or is that not necessary? Devrais-je okay, remplacer le nom de M. Lemkin exactly par un pseudonyme word word ou non? Puis-je répéter littéralement ce que je viens de dire? Respond. Le so, président. The, the president, uh, as um, in principle, it would be good if you can also um, maintain the. Par principe. Um, the, the pseudonym uh, used uh, for the witnesses, uh, and uh, we will make Vous sure we can exercise this uh, until the moment un he, or he or she is called. The President, uh, Mr. Kope, indeed, Maître you will Kope. have uh, about five minutes uh, to uh, prepare for minutes. this because it's also important that the AV unit needs uh, this uh, amount of time before uh, everything is now set uh, to the normal courtroom proceedings. Conformément à la procédure habituelle. The President, uh, Mr. Victor Copé, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The information, Mr. President, Your Honours, received we received Monsieur yesterday the urgent informa je new information was in the form of an email uh, from a person uh, to whom we refer to as TCW382. As the Chamber knows, TCW382 co-wrote the screenplay for Enemies of the People and the related film One Day at Portray. His email was delivered yesterday at 16.39 to my colleague Michael Bestman, who transmitted the email to our legal consultants who in turn forwarded to me. TCW382's email was unsolicited. We have just forwarded the email to the Chamber and to all of the parties. And the full text of uh, TCW382's email reads as follows, and I quote, Dear Victor, from reading the Phnom Penh Post's account, of the trial proceedings yesterday, 
It seems there may have been a misunderstanding about what Nunchia said in our DVD. He did not emphasize not. He did not agree that top law and officers had been killed. What he said was that half a dozen law and cabinet and top officials had been put through revolutionary due process and condemned to death by a military tribunal, which from memory Nuanchia was not part of. It should be added that Radio Phnom Penh, the official state radio station, broadcast announcements of these executions at the time and gave the same rationale as Nuanchia does in our DVD. Nguyen does not admit direct responsibility for executing the law no cabinet members. Rather, he asserts that the rationale was correct. Of course, that rationale is no different from U.S. from U.S. killing bin Laden, etc. I hope that the evidence to the court makes it clear that there really is little prosecutorial value in what is reported to have been used of our film in this instance. And now, Mr. President, the important part from the email, and it says, I quote, by the way, regarding Poitray, this was a massacre ordered by Ros Nin. Not central command. We have amassed a wealth of evidence about Nim's agenda, but have been so far unable to complete our second film due to that some well, yeah, due to the co-producer being in the U.S. for personal reasons. Your sincerely, TCW382. Your Honours, <coughs> this information, this new information which has come to light is obviously Mesdames extremely important, juge, but let me explain exactly why and how it relates to Mr. Hedda's testimony. First, TCW382 may be in possession of information that is directly exculpatory for New Chia as to the charges as to portray. <laughs> if indeed TCW382 possesses this information, and if it shows what he claims, it would vindicate exactly the position we have taken for months, including in our submissions just two days ago. And it even involves Rosnin, whose responsibility for the events at Tour Portray we have previously explored before the chamber. Second, the evidence um, uh, TCW382 claims to have concerning Rosnim directly corroborates the position we have taken countless times for years about command structures uh, in democratic Kampuchea and the role of zone leaders. That information re relates directly to Mr. Heather, whose analysis has previously been central to our claims in that regard. It appears that the list of Mr. Heather's interviews provided by the prosecution yesterday include numerous interviews with cadres from the Northwest Zone. Mr. Heather is therefore likely to be in a position to give testimony concerning the exact same facts as TCW382. Third, Mr. President, TCW382 may be in possession of information that is directly exculpatory for our client in relation to the alleged execution of top law no officials, which the prosecution says is within the scope of this trial. More to the point, TCW382 may be able to explain that the video 
that he himself produced, and which the prosecution relies on for inculpatory purposes, is in fact exculpatory. That testimony, the testimony of TCW 3A2, would vindicate the submissions previously made by the defense for Q Sampong in relation to the admissibility of this video, and by, by us, of course, two days ago, in relation to its probative value. Specifically, Mr. President, that it is a partial and selective treatment of thousands of hours of tape. And in light of all this, of this new information, Mr. President, we have three related requests. First, uh, we ask the Chamber to admit this email as uh, evidence, as new evidence, pursuant to Rule 87, Paragraph 4. The email uh, was previously unavailable uh, to us and is clearly very relevant. And it is also similar in, similar in form to Ted Sambat's book, which the prosecution has relied on extensively. Second, we request that the Chamber summons TCW 3A2 to appear before the Chamber and or undertake further investigation pursuant to Rule 93. And third, we seek an immediate adjournment of Mr. Hedder's testimony pending the outcome of the investigation. An adjournment is necessary so that we have as full a record as possible prior to questioning Mr. Hedder on this subject of central and crucial relevance to this trial. Thank you, Mr. President. Extrêmement pertinent et central pour ce procès. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The President. Thank you. The President. Uh, Council, Mr. Prosecutor, Merci, you may Maître. proceed. Le co-procureur, vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. President, and your honours. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour. Mr. President, uh, I thought that the era of devices and stunts from the defence had come to an end with the previous defence team. The submission you have just heard shows that devices and stunts are still very high on the agenda of the Nuancia defence team. In my respectful submission, it is nothing short of scandalous to make an application to this court, and I deal with the third one, to adjourn the testimony of Mr. Hedder. To seek to adjourn his testimony on the grounds that the defence have an email from somebody who was a producer of a film who was not present when Nunchia was being spoken to, who was giving commentary about what Nunchia said on the DVD. That's entirely not a matter for Mr. Lemkin. It's a matter for you. You have the DVD on the case file. You can see and hear what Nunchia said. You do not need a scrap of assistance from Mr. Lemkin. Vous n'avez absolument pas besoin de l'aide de M. Lemkin. He may be in possession of information if he possesses the information. We don't know what the information is about Ross Nim. If the defence are in possession of information, call it or make an application to call it. Don't come before the court asking to adjourn the testimony of a witness because we may have some information that may be relevant. It may be entirely irrelevant. Il se peut il y ait des he claims to have information that directly corroborates something. And then we have Mr. Hedder introduced as the sideshow to Ensuite, this application, uh, trying desperately somehow to link the producer of this film with Mr. Hedder. Ensuite, nous avons une tentative and de then faire we have the further problem for the defense, talking about Mr. Ensuite, Hedder's analysis. La défense, uh, aborde Mr. Hedder is not here Edder. to provide you judges with Monsieur analysis, because analysis comes from experts. 
He is not an expert witness. He cannot give you an analysis because an analysis is about the interpretation of facts, not what the facts are and what evidence goes to support the facts. The producer talking about partial and selective information. Le producteur qui mentionne des informations partielles. This, in my respectful submission, is an attempt to try and package a routine Section 87.4 application and trying to make it stick to Mr. Heder. That, in my respectful submission, is dishonest at worst and disingenuous at best. Can I deal with the three particular points? Do you admit the email? Well, what if the prosecution said, we've got an email who says, we've got an email from somebody who says another film on the court's archive doesn't properly reflect what somebody said on the film. It's ridiculous. What was said on the film is shown on the film. You don't need anybody else's interpretation or to help you whether there was a misunderstanding. And I stress, especially from somewhere, someone who was not even present when this interview was taken. He's the producer. He's not even there. He can't help you with what was said. It's shown on the DVD. So what evidential purpose, what relevance does this email have? And the answer is absolutely none. And then an email, comments. There's really little prosecutorial value. He's not here to comment on the prosecution. He's not a witness that can help this court. See through this charade for what it is. It's showboating. It's a device. It's a stunt. Another stunt from the same team. Courts are about applications and evidence. They're not about showboating for the press or making stunts in this court. This email cannot help you at all in ascertaining the truth. And I invite you to reject now, not in a week's time, not in due course, reject now, orally, this application. This email has no use. If the defence want to come with a lever arch file of statements relevant to Ross Nim, relevant to implementation at Tulpray, then bring them to the court. Don't try and ask for adjournments on speculative evidence. We don't even know what they have. And the email talks about, we've got a wealth of evidence about Ross Nim's agenda. You're not interested in agendas. You're interested in this case with Tall Paul Trey about what actually happened at Tall Paul Trey, not what agendas were. If the defence have the material, get it and make a proper application. Don't try and interrupt this witness with this device. Secondly, Summoning TCW382 to say what? I was the producer of a film and I want to tell the court that what's shown on the film, there's been a misunderstanding. It's a nonsense. If the defence wants to come up with a reason why he can give direct evidence that helps you, then do so. Justifiant sa comparution, bien qu'elle le fasse. I'm reminded by my learned colleague who sits next to me. Here's the flavour of Mr. Uh, here's the flavour of the producer of this film. We asked him to provide, or OCIJ asked him to provide the film. No, I refuse. How did OCP get this film? Mr. President, it was purchased off Amazon on the internet. This 
person cannot assist this court on the current information. If there's the Rosnim binders containing relevant and admissible evidence, that may be another thing. But at this stage, summoning a witness would be inviting a witness into Alice in Wonderland. And then the most egregious part of this application, the third part, to seek to adjourn Mr. Hedder's testimony because he's taken perhaps some statements from North West Zone soldiers who we might have some evidence about but we're not sure because we don't know what's being said about Rosnin. If the defence want to put questions to Mr. Hedder, not about his analysis of tall portray, because that's impermissible, if they want to put evidence about something he has written about tall Paul Trey, get on and do it. I stress what you have said in three emails to the parties. The purpose of Mr. Hedder's testimony is for him to give testimony on books and articles authored by him, interviews conducted by him, and matters of which he has a direct personal involvement. He is not here to give analysis about tall Paul Trey or analysis or opinion evidence about any other matter. I stress that I ask you to deal with this matter now, peremptorily, quickly, and consign all three of these applications to where they belong. Let's stop the devices and get on with the evidence. Mettant fin à ces artifices et reprenant l'examen des preuves. Le président. Le président, Mr. Copé, please hold on. Madame Lucolo, you're for the civil parties. You may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning to your honours. Good morning to everyone. I would like to add a few words to what was said by the prosecutor, and I will say, first of all, that I entirely support him as well as his position regarding the three requests made by the Nguyen-Chia defence. I must say that I'm quite um, flabbergasted uh, by uh, this uh, submission this morning, even if I understood since yesterday that uh, at uh, this uh, juncture in the trial anything could be possible and anything could be requested, whether this is grounded or not. And I am flabbergasted also by the means used, that is to say, to warning, warning us at the last minute without giving us the slightest piece of information on uh, the submission that was going to be made. I also must say that I am, and to speak lightly, somewhat uh, distrustful of this email coming from nowhere at the very last moment, coming from someone who is a producer and now who is being presented as a co-author and who suddenly would become to give his opinion uh, in a serious judicial proceeding taking place for the past 18 months. There is a film on the case file, a film that was not vision that has been seen since the beginning, piece by piece, that everyone can watch and that is essentially in the Khmer language, with Mr. Nunchia's face being featured and Mr. Nunchia speaking Khmer. And now, suddenly, we have a producer of this film who allegedly would be telling us what Nunchia is telling us when you see him. Well, this is completely uh, extraordinarily wrong. I find this uh, completely um, off the track, and I am I am surprised to see that uh, this film is being uh, that this is being considered. The film is there, and, and, and the chamber can form its own own idea without extra comments, comments from a man who do, who is not a jurist and who is not participating uh, in these uh, serious judicial proceedings. 
Mes commentaires valent My aussi pour une journée à Tulpokray. Also pertain to the film One Day at Tulpokray, which we have here again. Des gens s'exprimaient en Seeing people speaking Khmer in the film without de ma part à aucun moment le nom de Rosnim ne soit prononcé. The name Rosnim being mentioned. Quoi qu'il en Unless soit, I'm mistaken, no matter what. Je pense que la moindre des choses pour donner un semblant de caractère sérieux à la requête thing de mon confrère, c'était de faire une requête my de, to the écrite, application is to submit a written article 87 submission pursuant to article 87.4 to try to support Ça, this submission. Faire. This is what they should have done. They should have explained to us how un mail, um, an email, que celui such que as the email that we have très, just très heard uh, right now very, very rapidly, could justify that an extra piece of evidence would be put, put before the chamber and that extra testimony be requested. My uh, colleague chose another path. He is asking you to rule today on an oral submission. And I am asking the chamber, in fact, to do so as quickly as possible and not to offer him the possibility that he did not use earlier to make a written submission. Since the, ici, the oral, request is oral, the chamber may rule on it now. Et je crois qu and état de ce que I Coppo believe that, a dit, based on what the co-prosecutor said, and, répéter, and I support entirely what he's saying, the chamber can reject oral the oral submission et and reject la demande the que ce mail soit produit au débat. request that this email be put before the chamber. This is not a serious submission, and the chamber should reject uh, this uh, submission. Bien évidemment, of course, je demande à la Chambre I'm de rejeter ici the chamber also to la reject demande de comparution de ce témoin. The request to have this producer testify before enfin, the court. And finally, je cherche encore I'm still trying to les raisons qui pourraient justifier suspendre l'audition de M. Eder. Adjoining Mr. Heder's testimony. We are all going to put questions to him for a sufficient amount si of time. If the defense wishes to put sujet, questions on this topic to the witness, it may do so. But I feel that stade, asking now uh, to adjourn Eder, uh, Mr. Heder's testimony nous en dit long sur les is de la quite clear, de clearly reflects the defense's intent which is Le plus tard possible. to postpone these hearings as much as possible. De cette I'm asking, demande, of course, therefore, the Chamber to reject the third uh, request, which Merci. is absolutely groundless. Thank you. The President. Thank you. Le President. Mr. Merci. Victor Kopi, you may proceed. President, there's not a right of reply in my respectful submission. He's made his submissions and we've made ours. Fine, Mr. President, I haven't heard actually anything interesting.
The president. Le président. The chamber would like to hand over to Judge la Chambre Chambre Cartwright regarding la juge the Cartwright. ruling by the bench regarding the application made by au sujet counsel for Mr. Nunchier. De la demande de la défense de Nunchier. In his request, counsel for Mr. Nunti made uh, this, and now uh, we would like uh, to hand over demande. to Judge Silver Cartwright la juge to, do, uh, to address this. And for the time being, we would like to pause the uh, hearing of the testimony of Mr. T uh, Steve Heather uh, temporarily. Et la, yes. uh, thank you, est donc President. Uh, the Chamber la juge uh, Merci, has le uh, decided as follows Voici la décision that. De la chambre. Um, uh, it will not adjourn the testimony of the witness Steve Hedder. Uh, secondly, that the information provided thus far by counsel for Nuanchia uh, does not satisfy the chamber that it fulfills the requirements of Rule 87.4. However, if the Nunchia defense team Toutefois, wishes to si make an application in writing pursuant to Rule 87.4, then, <coughs> then that should be done by Monday at 2 p.m. Uh, and uh, should clearly identify which new evidence uh, it um, wishes to place before the chamber. Uh, because of the brevity of time given for filing, this application, if filed, uh, may be uh, filed in English only to be followed by Khmer as quickly as possible. Uh, President, does that encompass the ruling that you wish to make? Thank you. President, I think I have announced the decision voulu. The president, uh, thank Le you. President. Merci. Court officer is now directed to bring in Mr. Steve Heather back into Monsieur the courtroom. Monsieur d'audience, so veuillez faire rentrer dans le prétoire Monsieur Steve Heather pour la poursuite de sa déposition. The President, uh, thank you, Mr. Heather. Could you please be now uh, reminded that please keep your distance Monsieur from this console Steve at this Eder pace so that um, your responses uh, to all questions will be pour que vos rendered soient bien uh, audible. and um, we would like to continue hearing your testimony and the Votre questions are now uh, continue. preceded by the prosecution. You may now La est à l'accusation. Thank you, le Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le President. Good morning again, Mr. Heder. À nouveau, Monsieur Heder. Um, I'd like to start Bonjour. by revisiting in a little more detail the time in 2005 when you led a SOAS team collecting evidence in Cambodia. Now, can you help us on how interviews were conducted? What I mean was, was there a consistent instruction on question and answers, note-taking, how the information was gathered, how the statements were produced? Can you just help us on, on that part, please. 
Qu'en est-il um, Réponse. Again, I think it requires Une fois de plus, bit of clarification il faut apporter quelques précisions academic work. concernant le travail de It's recherche. A bit of a misnomer. Um, to describe it as so Ce n'est pas work. vraiment um, approprié de dire qu'il s'agit du travail de la SOAS, units or organizations les différentes disciplines et unités internal rules fonctionnent or procedures selon leurs règles intérieures et les intellectuels, en quelque sorte, travaillent là-bas, le font à titre no, individuel. Exemple, et donc, on ne peut pas parler de véritable contrôle de la part du chef de département ou d'un autre membre de la SOAS concernant le travail de recherche. Dans ce sens-là, il n'y a pas de règles fixées. Chacun a sa façon de voir les choses en fonction de son travail pour ce qui est de la manière de recueillir et consigner les informations. Cela dit, il y a une Where you have a prepared set of questions, maybe even a questionnaire. Il peut y avoir un questionnaire, une liste de questions fixes, ou alors, ce sont des questions ouvertes. En l'espèce, c'était des questions ouvertes. The discussions, the interviews, if you will, were not recorded. Les interviews n'ont pas été enregistrées. Over many years. Pendant de nombreuses années, ma façon de procéder, c'était d'interroger en Khmer. Ensuite, je prenais note de la réponse dans mon carnet, et plus récemment, à l'aide de mon ordinateur, et ce en anglais. Donc il n'y a pas de version Khmer qui aurait ensuite été traduite. Il s'agit d'une interprétation simultanée avec prise de notes immédiate dans un calepin. J'ai dit clairement aux gens que ce n'était pas anonyme, que les informations seraient public, soit à des fins historiques, soit judiciaires. Je le répète, ce n'était pas une mission, il n'y avait pas de mission rogatoire. Je faisais un travail d'historien ou de politologue, quel que soit le terme qu'on utilise pour désigner mon métier. Dans ce sens-là, pour le meilleur ou pour le pire, ça a été grosso modo la même façon de procéder que pour des autres interviews sur les Khmer Rouge lorsqu'ils étaient au pouvoir. Depuis que j'ai commencé à le faire en 1978, ou en 1973-1975, comme journaliste, avant l'arrivée au pouvoir de Donc, c'est en quelque sorte de l'art et non pas de la science. Je dois l'avouer à mes collègues chercheurs. Voilà en gros ma réponse. Je ne sais pas si elle est satisfaisante. L'accusation, oui. Deux sous question. Firstly, can you tell us your level of proficiency in the Khmer language? Quel est votre niveau de maîtrise du Khmer? Réponse. Est-ce que vous voulez me faire passer un test oral? I think it's, with all due humility, it's recognized as near fluent. Je le parle presque couramment, toute modestie mise à part. It's still un exemple, souvent, mais pas toujours, si je passe un coup de fil en Khmer, initialement, les gens 
n'arrive pas à croire que je ne suis pas cambodgien. Mon Khmer se rouille quelque peu lorsque je suis longtemps à l'extérieur du pays. Mais en général, je recommence à parler la langue couramment après un certain temps. Et ce, parce que je n'ai pas vraiment étudié le Khmer en classe, mais plutôt sur le terrain, avec un livre, certes, depuis le premier jour. Autrement dit, à la différence de mon niveau de chinois, qui est assez formel, mon Khmer est un Khmer de cuisine et de conversation courante. Je ne sais pas si 1973 est le bon point de départ, mais à From the partir de quel moment avez-vous commencé learning. à maîtriser le Khmer et à le parler couramment Réponse. Avant d'apprendre le Khmer, j'avais appris le Thaï. Il y a certes beaucoup de différences, mais aussi beaucoup de similarités à cause de longues interactions entre les deux langues, surtout du point de vue du vocabulaire technique. Mais même avec cette base, j'ai dû travailler beaucoup pendant un an et demi avant de pouvoir avoir une conversation d'un niveau raisonnable sur la plupart des sujets et avant de pouvoir lire un texte sur plus ou moins n'importe quel sujet. Au moment où j'ai quitté le Cambodge, au moment où j'ai fui le Cambodge en avril 1975, mon Khmer était assez bon. Mais je ne parlais pas encore la langue couramment. Ça, ça a commencé lorsque j'ai passé du temps de l'un ou de l'autre côté de la frontière thaïlandaise entre 1978 et 1984. Là, j'ai été immergé totalement dans un environnement où l'on parlait seulement Khmer ou Thaï. Je n'avais aucun contact avec des gens parlant d'autres langues. Donc au début des années 80, j'ai acquis le niveau de maîtrise se rapprochant de celui d'un locuteur natif. Peut-être que la pertinence de ma question apparaîtra plus tard, mais peut-être que vous pourriez indiquer dans quelle mesure vous parlez couramment le thaï, le vietnamien et le chinois. Réponse. Je pense que le Khmer est de loin la langue que je maîtrise le mieux du point de vue de la langue parlée. D'une certaine manière, je lis mieux le Thaï que le Khmer. C'est parce qu'il y a beaucoup plus à lire en Thaï qu'en Khmer. En clair, il y a un nombre assez limité de textes à lire par rapport à ce qui existe en taille, en particulier. Cela étant, pour ce qui est de ce qu'on appelle la langue stalinienne, autrement dit, les do, do mind, termes do mind utilisés if I dans les partis communistes, l'accusation interrompt. In fairly short order, if you can help me, 
level of um, proficiency in Thai, Vietnamese, Chinese in fairly short answers if, if I can, please. One to four Khmer, Réponse. Thai, Chinese, Vietnamese, and last but not least, Thai, French. Khmer, Vietnamian, Chinois, and last but not least, well, on, le français. On Khmer, I'm a little bit more than some box swing in a taxi, but you're plainly well advanced. Pour le Khmer, um, now, can I deal next, please, with... You've mentioned 1978. Now... Vous avez parlé de Can I ask the question this way? I've obviously looked at an awful lot of interviews that you conducted. Beaucoup but can you help us when was the first time? Mais and I'm, I'm using 1978 as a marker. When was the first time that you took a discussion, an interview, a statement that was pertaining to the period of Democratic Cambodia? Was it during the period, the back end, was it after? Régime? Can you help us? Ou après? If, I presume we're talking about... 17 April 1975 and if that's the temporal jurisdiction specified, the first pour laquelle le tribunal I would compétent. say we're in the opening days. La première fois, ça devait être durant les premiers jours de janvier 79. Peut-être le 3 ou le 4 de janvier 79. Can you remember who you, where you were, and who the people were that you were taking the interviews from? Et qui interrogez-vous? I was in the part of Cambodia. That is opposite Tapria. J'étais dans la partie du Cambodge qui est de l'autre côté de Tapria en Thaïlande. I believe that that was part of the then CPK Sector 5. Je pense que cela faisait partie du secteur 5 du PCK à l'époque dans la zone nord-ouest. There were some interviews that were done Certains entretiens ont eu lieu de ce qui est clairement le côté thaïlandais de la frontière, la frontière à Tapréa, secteur 5, et des interviews ont été faites juste du côté cambodgien, toujours Tapréa, secteur 5. Question, s'agit-il de réfugiés D'autres catégories, de membres du régime, de cadres subalternes. Réponse. Yes, I mean, I suppose um, those that were interviewed on the Thai side, du côté thaïlandais, um, I think could be described as asylum seekers. C'était des gens qu'on pourrait qualifier um, comme des demandeurs d'asile. <coughs> du côté du secteur 5, um, were les gens interrogés. étaient à ma connaissance des gens ordinaires cadre, et non point des cadres ni des combattants, des membres des forces armées qui avaient fui les coopératives dans cette partie du secteur 5 et qui commençaient à se désagréger à cause de l'arrivée imminente des Vietnamiens. Question. You were handed a document yesterday, Hier, on which was an document. index of your work. Do you still have it, or can I provide you with a fresh one? Que vous sous les yeux? Vous can un autre you turn, please, to page four? Je vous à la page four. At the bottom, we have um, a heading number two, header interviews with accused Numéro refugees deux, and others. Entretien de header avec now, des I'd like to just concentrate on the first Two items under the heading interviews with Q Sampong. Dans la rubrique 
interdit de consentement. Je vous attire votre attention sur les deux premiers éléments. Je peux vous montrer ces deux éléments. Commençons par le numéro 66. C'est une interview qui a eu lieu le 4 août 1980. Ce jour-là, avez-vous parlé avec Kyo Sampan Et est-ce qu'il y a le cas échéant des traces de cet entretien La réponse est yes. Oui. D'après mes souvenirs, c'est la bonne date. Je pense que la rencontre s'est étalée sur deux jours, puisque j'ai passé une nuit là-bas. D'après mes souvenirs, les il y a un document, une partie a été consignée sur bande sonore, une autre partie dans un calepin par ma méthode maison, à savoir interprétation simultanée et prise de notes sur un calepin. Tout l'entretien n'a pas été enregistré sur bande sonore. Mais j'ai pris des notes manuscrites, j'ai retranscrit ou j'ai pris des notes des propos de l'intéressé. I just want to ask you and show you, please, a document with Mr. President's permission. This is about item 69 on the list, and uh, we've all got the document numbers, but I say them E3 slash 198. Um, can I ask you to have a look at this? It's, it's also IS. 20.23. I'm just going to show you this record, please, Mr. Heller, with the President's permission, and just see if this does, once you've read it, record any meeting with Q Sampon on the 17th of August 2005. The President, you may proceed. Our officer is not directed to bring this uh, hard copy for the witness for examination. Can I say that council might be best looking at IS 20.23? Um, this one was not Réponse. done by me, but one of the other moi, people with whom I, persons with whom I was working. And if I recall correctly, ça. this English, I don't know whether this is a court translation si or a translation tribunal, that I did from Khmer notes that were taken at the time. Um, It looks more to me like a court translation than a translation I would have done. It doesn't have the peculiarities that are characteristic of my translation style. Le style de mes now, given that time in August 2005, you were in Cambodia, you've said already. Um, do you remember seeing vous that document in its original form or some notes to do with this interview or did you oversee these notes? Did you have any connection with this interview at the time? Whether by looking at the notes, translating things, does it, does it bring anything back seeing that document? Um, my recollection is that the notes were done originally in handwritten Khmer, 
à la main initialement. Puis, peu de temps après l'interview, uh, quelques semaines ou un mois après, et non pas the quelques jours ou une année, a computer file. le Khmer a été saisi um, dans un fichier informatique. A translation that's done from the computer file version of the earlier one. computer file version of the electronic earlier, one could say, original handwritten notes. The notes, original manuscript. And in terms of the procedure for recording, you've described your procedures for recording. La façon d'enregistrer, vous avez dit comment vous faisiez. For the others in the team, Concernant les autres membres de l'équipe, est-ce qu'il s'agissait du même système de questions-réponses qui étaient consignées Est-ce que les questions avaient été préparées Est-ce que tout cela a été enregistré sur Dan Solos Je suis quasi sûr que la méthode utilisé As par les autres, see, these are not a été verbatim. la même que pour moi, que je l'ai décrite. Kind of Ce n'est pas quelque chose format. de littéral, uh, verbatim. It, we were what I was later Sans le savoir, told are to be nous étions en train d'établir yes. un résumé um, objectif d'après la terminologie qu'on m'a apprise plus tard. L'accusation. J'aimerais reprendre ce document. And can I move on using our index again to the next page Revenons on the index, which index. is page 5. Page 5. And this has an en a heading of interviews with Ying Sari. And we see um, an interview on the 4th of January 1999 and a previous interview on the 17th of December. Une précédente, 1996. Can I deal with the 1996 ones first? And you'll see it item 74, 75 and 76. In relation to uh, that day, we have audio recording. So is it right that the interview with Ying Sari on the 17th of December 1996 was audio recorded? Enregistré sur bande sonore. Um, Réponse. Yes. I mean, again, I would oui. clarify. I, I would describe. Encore une fois, il faut préciser. Uh, what happened as an encounter with Yang Sari. Je dirais que c'était une rencontre um, avec Yang Sari. And in the course of that encounter, uh, there was a Durant cette interview. rencontre, il y a eu une interview enregistrée, moyennant son uh, feu vert. Pour l'essentiel, cela a été enregistré en présence de celui qui, à l'époque, était uh, de fait son aide de camp, Yi Qian, lequel l'a accompagné au lieu de l'interview, dans une chambre d'hôtel, à Chan Thaburi, en Thaïlande. En plus de l'interview enregistrée, il y a eu d'autres conversations, informelles, autour d'une table, à l'hôtel. Lors du repas. Toute la teneur de la discussion ne se retrouve donc pas dans ces trois enregistrements sonores, mais l'essentiel s'y trouve. I'm going to be asking you more detailed questions later on about this. This is really for verification purposes. And then dealing with the second one in time on the 4th of January 1999, um, can you help on how that was recorded by you? Was it audio tape? Was it your noting style that you've mentioned or any other method? 
avez-vous eu recours à un enregistrement audio ou s'agissait-il de la prise de notes que vous avez décrite Yes, that one was much more réponse. informal. Um, oui, celui-ci est plus We met plus in the lobby nous of nous the rencontrés. then Royal Phnom Penh Hotel here in Phnom Penh, uh, a, a venue that no longer exists because it was destroyed in the so-called anti-Thai riots that subsequently occurred. Um, and I had a little notebook, and we had, I would describe, a mostly quite informal, although in some places substantive conversation, and I scribbled things down in my notebook. Au cours de notre conversation, j'ai écribouillé des notes. Were you scribbling contemporaneously or after the event? Question. Et avez-vous pris ces notes en même temps que les discussions ou après la conversation? Um, I think there were some things I did at the time and some things I supplemented later. I think the issues of substance I took at the time, um, matters relating to the, lo the locale of um, Central Committee documents and a few other very specific items, whereas some of the more informal stuff, the, the atmospherics, if you will, I think I only added later. Thank you. Can I move to the next box on page five, which is interviews with refugees? And can you just explain, I'm not looking for all the academic funding and the academic background, just who were you with, is it right you undertook interviews on the Thai-Cambodian border in February, March 1980, and who were you with, first of all? entre le Cambodge et la Thaïlande entre février et mars 1980 et le cas échéant qui vous a accompagné Yes, these interviews took Réponse place oui. uh, on the Thai side, I think entirely uh, of the Thai Cambodian border in Thailand, those uh, months specified February to March 1980 and for most if not necessarily Every last interview, um, I was accompanied by a Japanese journalist, Matsushita, from Kyoto News Service. Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to be asking to ask you questions about these refugee interviews later, but can I just clarify for verification purposes? Did you undertake every interview with Matsushita present for some, or can you help us now on that? I'm not sure I fully understand the question, but I think I, think I did every interview myself. I think there were occasions on which I explained to Matsushita what was being said, and he uh, asked me to, 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 to make some additional queries. But I think it would be fair to say that 99.9% .9 of it is me asking questions and me taking down the answers in the style that I've already twice now described. Thank you. Can we move to the next uh, heading on page 5, OCIJ interviews? And can you please just confirm that you did undertake some interviews when you were with OCIJ? procéder à quelques auditions lorsque vous travaillez au BCGI um, OCIJ. That's item on page 5, Nous the bottom box is headed OCIJ interviews. Uh, la dernière, uh, le dernier tableau intitulé Audition BCGI. Uh, Yes, those were done when I was employed by UNAKRT and assigned to the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges um, during the period of the judicial investigation. Thank you. Can I take you to page six? 
And if you look at items 94, 95, 96, 97, and 99, you'll see in the title box that it's got the name of the person and then ECCC-OCP. So do you re recollect taking some statements? I think when Mr. Robert Petit was uh, the head of that department. Est-ce que euh, vous étiez bien présent au sein de ce service à cette époque? Uh, yes. Those are interviews done while Réponse I was, oui. as it were, secluded from uh, the office of the co-investigating judges to the office of the co-prosecutors. And euh, myself and a number of other people from the office of the co-prosecutors, on some instances, including Robert Petit, um, did these interviews at the times indicated. And then if we can go please to still on page six, we have this heading of other interviews. And there's a couple here that I, I couldn't place in terms of fitting them in under other headings, frankly. Can I ask you to have a look at item 88? Item, well, let's deal with that perhaps item by item. 88 is a statement on the 7th of August 1990. And the document number for that one is E3 slash 390. And the D number was D210 stroke 9. Mr. President, to assist on this point, Monsieur can I hand President, this document to Mr. Hedder? Pour aider le témoin, est-ce que vous m'autorisez à remettre ce document à Monsieur Hedder? Mr. President, can this please be handed to uh, Mr. Hedder? And Mr. Hedder, I don't want you to mention the name of this witness. I just want you to help us, please, about the circumstances. The President, you may proceed. Court officer, please uh, get the document from the co-prosecutor and hand it over to the witness. Um, yes, I, I did this interview at the time indicated uh, in Phnom Penh oui, with the person named, and as the document that you handed me Penh, indicates, uh, um, cité, the interview was um, recorded, uh, tape recorded, and this is a not my translation, but a court translation of that, of a transcription of that taped interview. And just for purposes of further clarification, this was done when I was at the Department of History of the Australian National University. The President. The President. Mr. A prosecutor and uh, Mr. Witness, uh, thank you very much. The time is now appropriate for adjournment. Uh, the chamber will adjourn now and resume at 11. Court officer is instructed to assist uh, the uh, witness uh, during the break and have him return to this courtroom uh, by 11. The court is now adjourned.